Hi there everyone, it's Jakko here. Uh, I'd like to take a look at uh, how to use uh, some scan data that we have like, I have grabbed some of these um, atlases from uh, Substance Souls and I have like a bunch of these rocks and then uh, I have like another one which is just uh, this urban rubble ground so these are just materials that you can get from Substance Souls but also you can of course use your own materials or create your own atlases. So recently I've been working a lot of with these uh, material uh, noodles like uh, if you uh, hit number three in the keyboard you can get the this green mode where you're uh, routing uh, material uh, nodes which contain all of those so again if I hit number one you can see that now all of those noodles go from these nodes which have like base color and normal and basically all the all the channels and they can also include ambient occlusion so it's good to bear in mind that these do actually include uh, ambient occlusion so you can blend those and so on so um, I just want to uh, maybe go through how I created this um, a blend uh, this kind of rubble or urban rubble type of a material and uh, so I'm just gonna maybe uh, remove these and we can get started from zero Okay, so I have this flat stone fragments and urban rubble ground uh, materials. I'm just going to drag and drop one of these. This is going to be flat stone uh, fragments and then it's going to be urban rubble ground. Okay, so now we have those. And um, so um, this, uh, these atlases, these materials, material atlases are, are this kind of like a scanned data that have like several uh, pieces and then we can come here and we can select like uh, we can do grid or single elements or splatter so in this case let's do single element we can also use the splatter so that's going to be like uh, doing like all automatically giving us this type of a thing but in this case let's just do like single element now we have like one of these rocks in here okay because that's something we can start with maybe I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm gonna go here and maybe do another element so maybe something like something like a little bit different from from that so let's do maybe this so now I have this and this we have two rocks now so then uh, if we want to scatter this around uh, we have this really nice new well relatively new um, node called uh, Atlas Atlas scatter and again if we just hit number three we can keep uh, stay in the material no mode so I'm gonna go and uh, drag this guy to the at the scatter so automatically now if we hit number one we can see that it connected all those noodles except uh, ambient occlusion so ambient occlusion doesn't I don't know why uh, Atlas scatter doesn't support uh, ambient occlusion so I'm always running in a bit of a trouble with this ambient occlusion so I have to to get back to that later uh, later but anyway uh, the ambient occlusion itself isn't like super detailed so uh, it, it's like you can see that these um, at least do generate it but um, this isn't like really I'm, I'm not sure how how well we have like intensity here so we can probably boost it up a little bit but but unfortunately this uh, atlas scatter doesn't I haven't found a way to implement uh, ambient occlusion uh, I'm not seeing any anything here that says about uh, ambient occlusion so if you know about how to deal with this just please leave a comment in the comments so update me so okay so anyway uh, I've did that I've done that now and then I have like uh, all these settings here we can do like scale random and rotation and position random we can go like uh, do like random position in here and then we can go to the height and we can do like height offset and uh, we can do like uh, height scale random and uh, I think we have like um, other things like uh, um, conform so if we use a background we can make these to conform to the background and that can be sometimes useful if we want them to kind of like a blend into the ground or something like that but let's uh, maybe 
do like that. We could also do like height offset random. So yeah, I'm just gonna go here and preview the height so we can get the idea that how the height is gonna behave. So so height scale and height scale random is doing that. So you can see that they are really just like um, angled. So these are very angled, which actually looks nice in this in this case. So I'm just gonna maybe try. What what happens if I'm just gonna go and try to um, blend it to the background? So I'm gonna do uh, take this urban rubble ground, and go to the background. Uh, so um, let's see. So we have like a um, background yeah so now we have that so now we actually did um, print the background maybe we could try to preview this how it looks so I'm gonna go and throw this in here so again we don't have ambient occlusion so maybe we can just do one real quick so I'm gonna do ambient so right now it's black so the reason why we can see anything is because we don't have anything plugged into the ambient occlusion so and we do this and then do something like that we can see that now we have like decent so already <laughs> actually it looks pretty nice so um, we already have this result so mm, it automatically uh, the atlas scatter it took that background into account when when, when uh, distributing these elements and already this looks like almost like pretty much usable <laughs> But then we, we obviously we need more variety. So maybe we could go and try to um, create another one. So I'm gonna uh, do it like this. So now we have another one, like so. So uh, we have another another version of this using now uh, this another rock. So let's see. Maybe we could do. There's actually many ways we could do. We could also do material blend. Uh, if we go here and do material, um, let's see, material why it doesn't come up. So we have a um, hmm, okay, yeah. So we have a material blend, and this is something that we can use. We can do grayscale mask, but uh, I noticed that we have like this new, also relatively new, I guess. I haven't been doing this for a while, these YouTube videos for a while, so we have like a material uh, height blend and this is really really exactly what we want so I'm gonna do now material 1 and material 2 and I'm gonna do the blend and let's see how this is gonna work out so I'm gonna drag those in here and again I'm gonna do the height so that we get uh, so now we have this and and this is actually really cool so we already have a usable material I think what we could do is we could go to height offset in here so we can change how the height is blended between these two so like now it's it's very sensitive so like it seems to be like let's see we can actually maybe preview this so if we go in here try to do different height offsets we, is there a spot where we get like a little bit of the both versions of the rock? So it seems to be like either we get either we get like this or this. So I wonder where is the sweet spot? Maybe here. So uh, in this case, what we can do is that we can go to here and we can do this height. Um, uh, let's see. If we can just go here preview the height what we have is that we have the uh, settings actually for the height so we have this height um, I think that's height offset is that the height scale because we do have like the ability to sort of uh, uh, de uh, define which one of these rock layers we want to be on top and which is going to be bottom so I think that if we do like height offset so we do have some random values in here because we want them to we want some of them to become sunk in the ground but let's see height scale so now in the background we can start to see those shapes on the background of the other of the other rock oh I see okay now I understand um, now it just happens that 
uh, the random seed of the ball settle scatter nodes is exactly the same. So those rocks always appear in the same place. So again, power of substance designer, we can come here and what we can do is that we can just move the random seed and now they're going to be scattering uniquely. So these atlas scatter number one and two are going to scatter them separately. Now we can see that uh, both of those instances are scattered uh, in, in different places. So we get this random type of a look, which is what we want. So it's just one uh, way that you can blend uh, these and play around. So we have like an another uh, really useful material nodes in here. We have like material um, uh, material transform, and also I think we have the material um, we have this material uh, crop which allows us to. So if you have like some, um, for example, you wanna uh, crop this, you can do do this kind of thing, and it. Uh, uh, deals this uh, with uh, all of those uh, noodles inside the material so so it's very quick way to uh, let's say you want to crop or or scale or uh, transform these um, guys around so um, definitely uh, if you like to work with uh, uh, these material nodes in Substance Designer th these are really useful and uh, you can see it's very very quick to come up with totally useful materials by using the scan scanned uh, assets from uh, substance source or just like uh, doing stuff by yourself and creating these isn't really difficult nowadays so so uh, this is a little quick uh, look on how to uh, use uh, material uh, nodes such as at atlas scatter and material height plan to create the uh, assets from scan data so this was Jakob uh, please leave a comment if you have a uh, anything to add if you notice that I didn't mention something that's important or if I make mistake or something just uh, leave it to the comments would we'll be glad to see you there so uh, this was Jakob I'll see you in the next video bye bye